Well, whatever time of day or night it is with you, welcome along to a game which is threatened, I have to tell you, by a rather forbidding weather forecast. The expectation is for quite heavy rain as the game grows older this evening. It hasn't arrived just yet, but it will do shortly. Glad to report, though, that that hasn't affected the crowd who are here in good number and indeed in good voice. And the game will be underway very soon. we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature they appear to be shaping up in a 4-4-2 formation well what I like about this system Peter is the way in which both central midfielders have to work in tandem if one opts to go forward the other sits and when one moves either side to snuff out an attack the other will will hold the central ground Communication is obviously vital to make it a success, but this team knows what it's doing, and I think we're going to see that reflected. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Isla. Tufan. Nicely controlled. Can he deliver? And the finish! It's in! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Yeah, tempted and teased the keeper into thinking he could get to it, but it just eased the way to catch the inside of the post. Fenerbahce, go ahead, one goal to the good. Forward pass. Well, quick thinking by the keeper, he did well. And the counter is on. There's a long ball, and helps available out wide. That intervention was very necessary. Aziz goes looking. Fenerbahce are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. Hoist it forward. Dira. Reaching half time and still behind. And they make something happen now. Gets it back. Looking for a decent ball in. To the left it goes hit into the middle quick ball forward and it's half time here so there you have it a close sport half of football but Robert still had its moments 
but ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to now. Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes. And we're underway again. So, 45 minutes to turn it round. That'll be a throw. Isla. Well, that's where he wants it. Gileson. Now by a goal, needing to go up a gear. That's how it looks here. Referee has just said play on. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, at the moment, their chances of getting back in contention look slim. They're not exerting enough pressure. Simple as that. Tufan, who does have an assist to his name, plays it out to the wing. Oh, he's managed to get it away. Deftly done. Timely intervention. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Fenerbahce are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. Forward it goes. Gileson does well there. Alert. There will be a throw in. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag. And he was never going to last until the final whistle. Just brushed off the ball there. Fenerbahce can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. And that's it. So it ends 1-0. An enthralling game and an agonisingly narrow defeat. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? That's a fairly demoralising loss. They hardly threatened and this was about as insipid as it comes. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.